other plants grow down, obviously they have to grow down to obtain water and nutrients from the soil, but the soil is a very difficult environment. Um, if you live in Ithaca, it's full of rocks and the roots need to be able to negotiate around these rocks in order to grow down. If you meet a rock and you're unable to grow through it, it's necessary to have some kind of root growth behavior that would allow you to explore whether there's an edge over which you might be able to grow down. And I'm a postdoc in Maria Harrison's lab at Boyce Thompson Institute for Plant Research, an affiliate institute from Cornell. Namely, um, I basically showed him how to grow Medicago truncatula, that's this little plant here, in this magenta box. And in order to make a movie to show root growth, we had to use a transparent agar. Here you only can see one where you don't see how the root grows. So what we did, we kind of used this gel, which is very transparent. It contains macro and micronutrients that the plant can grow. And you clearly can see how the root grows towards the bottom of this. Uh, my lab has been interested in the way that uh, plants grow in uh, rough terrain and the basic question is how their roots overcome obstacles that they encounter as they try to grow deeper into the soil. Uh, and in the plant growing game, growing deeper means you get more nutrients, more water, so that's the, that's the goal. So one of the experiments that uh, we just reported on in PNAS uh, had to do with what happens when roots encounter uh, a barrier. Uh, as they grow down. So it's known that in the, some of the cells in the tip of the root, there are small dense particles full of starch that sink to the bottom of the cell. So if the root bends, when the root's like this, the, these um, tiny bodies are called statoliths, and this somehow sends a signal to the cell and, and then to the root. Um, that it's vertically oriented and, and that it should keep growing down. Now, how exactly that happens, is, it isn't known. But the question comes, when, what happens when uh, uh, a root encounters a, a plane that's flat or, or tilted at some angle? And what my student uh, and Chris Henley's student, Sir Han, observed, uh, he was an undergraduate here at Cornell who's uh, now uh, in Boston, MIT, uh, what he observed was that roots display all these different morphologies. Sometimes they'll grow in little sort of circles, other times they wave, and if the, the surface is very steep, they'll actually go straight down the surface. And prior to his work, uh, people were trying to understand the different root morphologies as some kind of um, uh, arising from some sort of underlying genetic uh, uh, um, characteristics of the plant. But what Sir Han was able to explain was that all of these morphologies actually arose from a search strategy. So the basic idea is this. If a plant has these gravitation uh, detection cells, so this ability to tell which way is down, if that detector is not perfect, then when a root encounters a surface that's not uh, that's, that's a little bit flatter than, than perpendicular, then those gravitational cells can't direct the root to grow straight down. You have to search for the downward slope. And the less tilted the surface, the harder it is for those gravitational cells to detect which way is down. And so what happens is that because of this limited fidelity of these cells to be able to tell the root which direction is straight down the slope, the root ends up creating a search strategy. And the search strategy um, is such that the root sort of meanders back and forth. And you're going to see this in the video that uh, we took, which is a time-lapse video of Medicago trancatula as it's growing through a gel, a transparent gel, and then encounters a very um, a, a slide, a glass slide that we put into the gel, which is tilted. And as the root encounters the glass slide, what you'll see is it starts to grow, and then it starts to search for the downward direction. And the amazing thing about this, this search is that when the cells, uh, when the root switches the direction, um, it's almost always picking the correct way down with 90% fidelity. And so the idea is that this root has uh, developed a grow and switch strategy to determine which way is the most efficient way down the slope, and that allows, us to, that allows it to look for the nutrients and, and get the water.